How do you find and recruit the best people for your organization, team, company, or in my case, institute? And maybe as importantly, how do you stay away from hiring the wrong people? Well, there are three easy keys that I've learned over the last 30 years that I know will help you bring the best people to your organization. And today, that's what we're talking about. My name is John Boggs. I am the co-founder of the Brave Thinking Institute, where I also serve as CEO and founder of our business and leadership today. And we're talking about three keys to find and recruit the very best people. Why is that so important? Well, I am confident that you, and of course I know, that hiring the wrong people is extremely costly. It's not just the money that you spend on advertising or the money that you spend on the recruiting, hiring, and training process just to find out the person isn't the right fit, but it's also the potential damage they might cause in your organization. And when you bring in the right people, there is an amazing feeling. Not only are they good at what they do, and there's this connection when you've got the right or best people in an organization. So what is it that you can do to bring in the best people? This video is not about the standard things that you would do to recruit that you can learn anywhere. What platforms should you put the message out on, whether it be ZipRecruiter, LinkedIn, or a thousand others? How do I read a resume and know whether this person has the right skill sets? You do need to know those things. Where do we advertise? Where do we promote? And how do we filter through and make sure the person that we're hiring has the right skill sets? No, this video is about three other commonly missed ways in which you can make sure the person is the exact right fit or the best person for your company, organization, or team. So let's dive in to the three keys that make a difference. The first is that you want to recruit and hire people that believe what you believe. And I've learned over the 30 years I've been in business that really starts with me making sure I've codified what it is that I believe. What is our organization really about? What do we believe? So one example of that for us is one of our powerful statements is this. At the Brave Thinking Institute, we believe in people. We know that each one of us is far more powerful and contains more potential than any circumstance, situation, or condition. Now, when you hear that statement, that statement, because it starts with what I believe, speaks right to the emotional center of your brain or the limbic part of your brain. And you're able to quickly identify whether or not you believe the same thing. In other words, it either resonates or it doesn't resonate. And so as I share with potential hires what it is that we believe, they're able to determine whether it resonates and I can see whether or not it's something that they're connecting to. You want to do business with people that believe what you believe. And I think Simon Sinek and his book, Start With Why, very important in his golden circle formula that he mentions this idea. Go around telling people what you believe and then look for the people that resonate with that and bring them onto your team. The second thing that you want to make sure to bring in the best people for your organization is that you have common shared core values. So I used to, in my interview processes, share with people what our core values were, and then I would ask them to share their core values. Now, the challenge with that in an interview process is I share my core values, they're looking for a job, and I say, what are your core values? And they go, uh, the same as your core values. And that doesn't really serve them or me. So in this day and age, what I do is I start by asking them, what's most important to you? I don't even use the phrase core values initially. I simply say, what's most important to you? And that begins the conversation that helps me pull out what really are the core values that this potential candidate has. After an initial discussion, then I might ask them directly in the second question. So based on that, what are your core values? Number one, it's gonna help you determine what really is important to them and see if it aligns with your core values and equally, do they actually know or have a set of values that matter to them? 
because if you have core values that matter to you, you're going to want to hire people that are absolutely in alignment with the same core values. If one of your core values is working hard and their number one core value is taking a maximum amount of vacation time, and by the way, there's nothing wrong with either one of those, but the point is you want to make sure that they are aligned, that they connect, okay? And the third key element that you want in finding the best people for your organization is hiring people that are on fire with your mission. So number one, you got to have a mission. You have to have something. What is it that your company's up to? What are you doing in the world? And why would someone else care about it? And when you share what it is you're up to, you'll be able to tell whether this person is actually ignited by what it is you're trying to accomplish or they feel dull about the entire situation. I'm in the middle right now of looking for a new executive assistant. We interviewed someone this morning. We asked them why they were leaving their position. They're currently working in the real estate business. And she said, selling real estate just doesn't light me up. Oh my gosh, there you go. Here's someone that's not on fire with the mission of the company that she's working with. Not right or wrong, but very important to know. A great story about this particular idea actually comes from the Wright brothers. You know, the Wright brothers were not the people that were the most funded or had the most brilliant people on their team. In fact, no one on the Wright brothers team, not even Orville or Wilbur had a college education. And there were other people with way more money and connections to the most brilliant minds of the time to invent the airplane. So why did the Wright brothers beat them to it? Because the Wright brothers kept telling their team what they believed and what the mission was. The Wright brothers would say, we believe that man deserves to be released from the bonds of earth. The freedom that this invention will bring us will be liberating. And when we can actually fly like the birds, it will transform humanity. And so that is why the people working on their team were willing to work not just for money, but for with their blood, sweat, and tears to bring about that mission. What's your mission? Find people that are on fire with your mission. What are your core values? Find people that are connected to your core values. And tell people what it is that you believe and find people that believe what you believe. Those three keys make a massive difference in making sure you Hire the best people for your organization. And now it's your turn. What do you think helps bring in, hire, and recruit the best people for any organization company? I would love to know. I'm sure the list can be way longer than those three things. So if you would, share how you've brought good people or the best people to your organization. I want to know. If you're new to the Brave Thinking community, let me say welcome. I'm glad that you're here and you can go ahead and click like or follow and spread the love. Share this message with someone that you think could use it, that it would matter to. And until the next time we're together, remember always to think bravely and act boldly.